The Heroic Mode for the Menagerie has finally been released, and it is the weekly reset, and I'm going to go over everything that's available for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, the Menagerie is getting their next level of a challenge, and it is the heroic version of the Menagerie. And I'm so excited, however, it is also the weekly reset. But before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 for Second giveaway for the month of June 2019, then sub to the channel, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter, and let me know what types of videos you actually wanna see on the channel. Also, a link to the giveaway will be in the description box below. So, let's go ahead and start with the Weekly Reset first. Coming up to the Traveler. We have to do 20 bounties for Ikora, as well as gain 5,000 XP for your clan. Open four chests for the Kallus' treasure, as well as complete two weapon form ranges, uh, two weapon frame forges. Oh god, wow. Coming down to the Vanguard. We need to complete three daily story missions, as well as complete three strikes. We have Void Singe, Iron, as well as Heavyweight for modifiers. Then the Nightfall, we need to go ahead and complete a Nightfall, and a Nightfall with 100,000 uh, points. Nightfalls this week are the Warden of Nothing, a Garden World, as well as the Arms Dealer. Coming down to Gambits. We need to go ahead and complete, or I'm sorry, get a hundred uh, progress in uh, the Reckoning, as well as complete four Gambit Prime matches and three Gambit matches. Coming to Earth, we have the uh, Flashpoint, which is on the EDZ, and you need to complete Public Events, Lost Sectors, and Heroic Adventures. If you do the Heroic versions of the Public Events, you can get this done a lot quicker. Coming down to Crucible, we need to complete five Crucible matches. We have Quick Play, Rumble, Lockdown for the Week, as well as Comp, and you can complete any of those. Destiny 2 Shadow Keep will be the giveaway for July 2019 and on, so definitely stay tuned to the channel for that. As for the Dreaming City, Petrovenge is on the Ray Sylvia um, area, and we need to complete two of her weekly bounties. So it is now 3.20 Eastern Time, and as you guys can see, the Iron Banner um, stuff is still here. However, Lord Saladin is not. So the Iron Banner is actually over, so do not come up here to try to do anything Iron Banner-like. So let's see what Tess Everest has for us at the Eververse this week. As for the offerings, we have one ship, a vehicle, ghost shell, weapon ornament for the uh, Sleeper Simulant, as well as a wonderful uh, emote called Multiplayer Emote, or I'm sorry, it's a multiplayer emote that is Link. And I'm sorry. It's supposed to be a fusion dance of some sort that epically fails. And then we have the best of year one engrams. All of those, oh, all of these, you can purchase for silver, which nobody wants to do. Then for the bright dust, we have the fight team medallion, your two boons, the uh, taken arrival, the arc shell, which I haven't seen yet. And that's a pretty interesting shell. It comes with speed demon and two random mods. Then we have the hip waiter, which is the ornament for the dune marchers. Looks uh, pretty uh, nifty. And then we also have a vehicle, AKA another reskin. All your seasonal offerings are all the same uh, every week, so they don't ever change. Just go ahead and buy these on your own accord. But yeah, cost silver. Archive, same concept. And then last but not least, we have your Bright Dust. So we have the Stylist Shit. <laughs> the Stylist Sit. 
Sorry. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I greatly apologize for that. Next we have the drop pod shell. This comes with guiding light and two random mods. Then we have the intrepid inquiry gloves for all classes. This comes with mobility enhancement mod, plasteel reinforcement mod, momentum transfer, impact induction, sniper rifle scavenger, as well as special room finder, and a uh, armor tier of arc. Then we have the Ronin, which is the ornament for the Izanagi's Burn It. That actually looks pretty cool. And just like Ronin, it kind of has like a little hammer at the end or hammer shape at the end. It's pretty badass. I'm actually probably going to buy it. And then we have the uh, King in All Directions, which is the ornament for the Revoker. That actually looks pretty badass too, I'm not gonna lie. Then we have the Mad Son of uh, Psychecles, I think. I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then last but not least, we have the Sovereign Projection. We got your Fire Team Medallion, your Boons. Then we have the Coastal uh, Suede Ornaments. I'm sorry, shader, 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 shader. Don't yell at me, shader. Then we have the tiger effects, uh, transmat effect. The Cades duds shader. And then last but not least, your purple class sigil. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up. I mean, while I'm here, I might as well just I'll grab one of these. I don't know. I'll figure it out. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and feel free to watch these videos as well. Definitely get subscribed for more Destiny 2 content coming at you soon, and I will see you guys in the next video.